Today, we'll be looking at those people soaking in the sun on a yacht, cruising the high seas, who just worked so hard to get there. Today, we're going over the top 10 richest people in the world. Number 10. Larry Ellison, 87. 2 billion Larry Ellison, like many other on this list, attributes his vast fortune to the development of technology. After dropping out of college in 1977, he created Oracle and built it from a startup to one of the largest softwares and database firms in the world. Oracle's current market valuation is $7 billion and Ellison has kept more than 40% of the company's stock. Ellison amassed his fortune independently, but due to considerable investments he made in Tesla before the company's stratospheric rise, he received a net return of more than 100%. In 2018, he joined Tesla's board of directors. However, in June, Tesla announced that Ellison would step out. However, he still owns around 1-5% of Tesla's outstanding shares. According to the Bloomberg list of billionaires, Ellison's net worth has stained out at $87.2 billion, but this net worth has risen to a considerable amount of $92 billion in the last two or three months. Number 9. Steve Ballmer 9 billion former Microsoft CEO and current owner of Los Angeles Clippers, Boma occupies the ninth spot on this list. His riches are the result of both his gains with the team and his continued ownership of Microsoft stocks. After dropping out of Stanford's MBA program at 24, he joined Microsoft as employee number 30. In 1980, Boma spearheaded Microsoft efforts to catch up to Google in search capabilities and Apple in mobile phones. In 2014, he retired from Microsoft as a billionaire. In the same year, he paid $2 billion for the Los Angeles Clippers of the National Basketball Association. Since 2014, he has increased his philanthropy, contributing more than $2 billion to a donor-advised fund with the goal of bringing Americans out of poverty. In 2018, he invested $59 million in social solutions, a software developer for non-profits and government agencies. And today his net worth sits at a hefty $9 billion. Number 8. Sergey Brin $1 billion Don't be surprised that Sergey Brin has made this list at number 8. After all, where would be we on the internet without the guy? Along with Larry Page, Brim gave us Google and our life changed forever. Brim has a net worth of $95 billion and co-founded the search engine. In 1998, the duo met at Stanford and since then there has been no stopping them. Brim has become Google president of technology and Aaron Smith took over the CEO in 2001. After establishing parent company Alphabet in 2015, Brim held the pop post, finally stepping down in 2019 when Sundar Pichai took over as CEO. Brim came from a humble background, immigrating with his family from Russia to the United States in 1979, when he was just six years old. Until 2020, Barron's net worth was in the range of around 100 billion, but today his net value still rests quite a comfortable amount of 95 billion dollars. Number 7. Warren Buffet 96.4 billion dollars. From paperboy to billionaire, a ranks to riches story can get better than this. Warren Buffet, the most renowned living value investor, submitted his first tax return in 1944 at the age of 14, reporting revenues from his paper route. He first purchased shares in Berkshire Hathaway in 62, becoming the majority stakeholder in 1965, and in 67, and in 67, he expanded the business into insurance and other investments. As of May 5, 2022, a single class A share of Berkshire Hathaway was trading for more than $481. Buffet is a buy and hold investor who built his fortune by acquiring unvalued companies. More recently, Berkshire Hathaway has invested in large well known companies. Its portfolio of wholly owned subsidiaries, including interest and insurance, energy distribution, railroads, and consumer products. And I'll tell you this, don't try mentioning Bitcoin to Warren Buffet. This man made his billions with old-fashioned money and is very skeptical about new-age digital currency. Number 6. Gautam Adani 
$98.8 billion. Meet Gautam Adani, the richest man in India and Asia. Number 6. Gautam Adani, $98.8 billion. Meet Gautam Adani, the richest man in India and Asia. Adani has an entrepreneurial DNA, comes directly from his father, who had a textile firm. Despite the possibility of inheritance, Adani had little interest in the business and preferred to follow his own dreams to attain a big fortune. Soon after leaving home, Adani entered the diamond market, which saw him quickly ascend to the millionaire status. Upon acquiring this money, he formed Adani Enterprises, a conglomerate that today handles many industries and sectors including energy, transportation, mining, infrastructure, logistic, cement and fast-moving consumer products. Thanks to India's economic growth, Adani's stock market success and new investments in green energy have contributed more than $40 billion to his net worth over the past year, propelling him right to the top of the rich list. Number 5. Larry Page $99.2 billion Did you know that Larry Page co-founded Google when he was just 23 years old? Larry Page, like several other software millionaires on our list, began his route to fame and fortune in a college dorm room. While Page was a student at Stanford University, he and his friend, Sergey Brin, came up with the concept of enhancing internet data extraction. Due to its ability to examine hacking links, the team created a new search engine technology that they termed Background. And from there, Page and Brin founded Google in 1998. And you know how the story goes. The firm also owns YouTube as well. And in 2008, Google unveiled the Android mobile phone operating system after acquiring Android Incorporated in 2005. These developments just keep pushing Page up the billionaire's list, where he sits now with a hefty $99.2 billion. Number 4. Bill Gates with $115 billion now, here's a man who was a real whiz kid when he was young. Bill Gates created his first software program when he was just 13. I mean, can you beat that? And who even knew that this kid would go on to become the co-founder of Microsoft, the largest computer software firm in the world. It was founded in 1975 and continued its expansions in computing, software and gaming sector over the years but Gate kept an active involvement in the company, but eventually sold away the majority of his take, retaining only 1% of the shares and investing the rest in stocks and other assets. Bill Gates just recently entered the top $100 billion club last year in April when Microsoft shares price surged post-earnings. Bill has now resigned from Microsoft in order to devote his time to the Bill Melinda Gates Foundation. Number 3. Bernard Arnold 128 billion Made the Pope of Fashion, Bernard Arnold The man with the golden touch in the fashion world, a French citizen, Bernard Arnold is the chair and CEO of LVMH, the world's largest luxury goods company. LVMH owns brands like Louis Vuitton, Marc Jacobs and Sephora. Most of Arnold's fortune stems from his enormous investments in Christian DRC the holding company that controls 41.3% of LVMH. He has an engineering background. Arnold initially displayed his economic aptitude while working for his father's construction firm, for which he gained command of the company in 1971. He changed Parrot 7 Hour into real estate company called Parrot Incorporated. And today, Arnold is considered the richest man in fashion and sits at number 3 on the richest list with $128 billion. Number 2. Jeff Bezos American entrepreneur Jeff Bezos played a key role in the growth of e-commerce as the founder and chief executive officer of Amazon.com, an officer retailer, web service provider, and manufacturer of electronic book readers. Under Bezos' guidance, Amazon, which Bezos incorporated in 1994, became the largest retailer on the web and the model for internet sales. Amazon's yearly net sales, which clocked in at 510,000 in 1995, reached almost 233 billion in 2018. Bezos himself came to be the richest person in the world 
with a net worth that was calculated in 2018 at 112 billion dollars. And finally, at number one, we have Elon Musk. To 10 billion dollars, Elon Musk is one of the most enterprising, eccentric, and creative entrepreneurs with a great vision to change the world and of course the Mars. The man who sent his roadster to space and laughing all the way to the bank with not just his great success at Tesla, with the path-breaking milestones in batteries and electric cars, Elon Musk in 2021 became NASA's go-to guy by securing the contract for making the moon lander for the NASA's upcoming mission to Mars. Beside his many ventures, Musk's aeroscopic engineering firm SpaceX has seen excellent success with sustainable reusable rocket technology and is even wearing NASA astronauts to the space station, which in itself is a great success. Elon was born in South Africa and got his bachelor's in physics and economics from the University of Pennsylvania. Two days after enrolling in a graduate physics program at Stanford University, Musk deferred attendance to launch Zip2, one of the earliest online navigation services. He reinvested a portion of the proceeds from this startup to create X.com, the online payment system that was sold to eBay and ultimately became PayPal Holdings. In November 6, 2021, Musk asked his Twitter audience whether he should sell 10% of his Tesla stock, framing the issue as response to criticism of unrealized capital gains as a means of avoiding taxes. Thanks to the surge in Tesla shares in 2021 and private transactions boosting the reported valuation of SpaceX, Musk's lead in global wealth ranking has continued to grow. His net worth hit a high of $340 billion in November 2021. In April 2022, Musk began a campaign to take Twitter private, which culminated in a $44 billion buyout. Musk planned to fund the deal with $21 billion of his own capital. In the run-up to the buyout announcement, Musk sold 9.6 million shares of Tesla, valued at roughly $8.5 billion. In July 2022, Musk decided to back out of the Twitter buyout. Twitter filed a lawsuit against Musk to force the buyout to go through. Musk countersued the company but then reversed course and, in October 2022, declared he was willing to buy Twitter after all.